I am going to show you how to place text behind a subject, how to replace a background of a shot, and how to blur a background out of focus. Let's get into it. To add text to a project, hit text. Then hit add text. Type whatever you want. You can change the font by clicking here. Adjust the scale and position of the text by touching the screen. You can make the text look more appealing using all the options on the slide here. For example, I will add a stroke to the text to make it easier to read. Place your finger here and drag it to the right to expand the text layer to the end of your shot. Now, export your project by clicking here. You can delete the text now by clicking the thrash button. Duplicate this footage by clicking it. Then hit copy. You have to place the second shot onto the first shot. Click overlay. Click the second shot. Then click overlay again. Use your finger to reposition the shot on top of the original shot. You now have two exact same shots on top of each other. Click on the shot above and click replace. It will open up your phone's media storage. Find and choose the shot with the text cinematic that you created earlier. Click confirm. Here is how the magic happens. Click the shot below and click the remove background button. The app will remove the background to reveal the text behind. Now you get the idea. Let's make the background of this shot out of focus. First, you need to duplicate the shot. Hit copy. Hit overlay. Click to the footage. Then hit overlay again. Let's drag the second shot to the start of the timeline. Click to the shot below, then hit remove background. You need to add an effect. On the main toolbar, find and hit effects. Video effects. Go to the basic panel. Find and apply an effect called blur. Extend it to the entire timeline. By default, the effect is very strong. Your footage might look fake. You can use the adjust button here to make changes on how strong the blur is. I will keep it at 15. Another thing to pay attention to is the object button here. You have to choose main video in order to get the blur effect applied only to the background. You can add text behind the dancer. Let's move on and change the background of this shot. I will start with this step when you already have two shots placed on top of each other. Click the above shot and hit replace. Find some stock video that has a good background. I will pick this one with the NYC skyline. Now click the shot below and hit remove background. Congrats, you did it! Let's color grade two shots to match each other. Click the background shot. Hit adjust. Make adjustments accordingly. Use temp to change the color of the shot. The camera is moving back, so the background should get bigger over time. Let's fake camera movement on the background. Move the playhead to the beginning of the shot. Hit this button to place the first keyframe. Scale the background up a little bit. Go to the end of the shot. Slightly scale the shot down to match the movement. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more video editing tips. I will see you guys in the next video.